When younger and full of adrenaline, most kids admire the power of superbikes, and they can't wait to start earning to own that dream superbike that can reach 60 miles per hour faster than most supercars. But you grow older, and you start appreciating the laid-back motorcycle segments. Perhaps your wife frowns every time you hop onto that death trap of a machine, and since you can't hang up the helmet for good, you start flirting with cruisers. Soon enough, you find yourself hooked. Hello, welcome to another video. Before moving forward, I request you all please hit subscribe and press bell icon to all. Thank you. Let's start the video. Cruiser bikes are awesome, and these are some capable examples that are criminally underrated. 10. Yamaha Virago Most riders consider the Yamaha Virago too lightweight for their liking. But the Virago is arguably one of the most gorgeous production motorcycles ever built despite its short wheelbase, which actually makes it an aggressive little cruiser. It is also one of the most underrated platforms for a custom build. Virago bikes from the 80s, including the first 15750, are subject to some incredible custom projects. Dutch builder Haxbergen rebuilt a 1981 model into a fantastic piece that spectacularly bridged the gap between cafe racers and bobbers. 9. Suzuki Intruder 750 Big twin cruisers are very popular in America. In 1983, the U.S. government imposed a 45% tariff on motorcycles imported to the U.S. with engines bigger than 750 cubic centimeters, perhaps to protect the Harley-Davidson from a Japanese invasion. Suzuki had to withdraw their 1,400 cubic centimeters intruder and only left the small 750 cubic centimeters bike, often overlooked for its small engine. But despite their small engines, they are fun to ride and there are plenty in the used market you can own for a song. Recently, Suzuki revived the legendary Intruder name in the guise of a modern cruiser with the Intruder ABS-5. But many have overlooked it for its unconventional styling, a tiny engine, and a skinny rear tire. 8. Honda Magna In the early 80s, Harley-Davidson continued to dominate the cruiser market by releasing iconic models. But Japanese manufacturers were producing excellent products that were easy to overlook, like the Honda Magna, which was actually built in collaboration with Harley. Being one of the first muscle cruisers to hit the market, the Magna didn't get the appreciation it deserved. Besides providing more bang for the buck with the power from the powerful V4 engine, the Honda Magna is well-made and borderline bulletproof. People have ridden the Magna up to 40,000 miles without having to take off the valve covers. 7. Honda Rebel 500 The Rebel nameplate is quite synonymous with a beginner bike, and perhaps that is why it gets overlooked. The Rebel 300 and, to some extent, 500 are some of the best bikes for novice riders, but that isn't the whole narrative. Maybe the old American Harley diehards may not feel much love for its minimalist looks. Still, for everyone else, the Rebel lineup offers something for everyone across the beginner, intermediate, and experienced rider markets. The Rebel 500 is a good, cheap-to-own and run option that is easy to ride with just enough power that won't land you in trouble. 6. Indian Challenger Cruiser purist fans love their bikes classic and old. So sometimes, new entrants in the segment might get overlooked. In 2019, Indian Motorcycle President Steve Manito described the incoming all-new Indian Challenger as one of the best, worst-kept secrets that they had, had in a long time. Since its release, the Challenger has proved to be a superbagger that promises to leave other baggers stuck in the Stone Age. Unlike other baggers that prioritize torque over horsepower, the Indian Challenger helps bring the sport into the bagger segment. Its 122 horsepower, 1,770 cubic centimeters big twin is coupled with sport bike brakes and a modern suspension, making it a great option for sport bike riders seeking to retire into something more tameable. 5. Triumph Bonneville Speedmaster The Speedmaster ought to be the most underrated bike in the highly popular Triumph Bonneville lineup. The bike sports cruiser barber looks in a beautiful and capable package. 
the 1,200 cubic centimeters parallel twin from the Bonneville T120 produces an unmistakably rich, deep, and distinctive tone that any cruiser enthusiast should fall in love with. The Speedmaster takes cues from the Triumph Bobber, making for a fun, relaxed, and comfortable ride. The 77 horsepower offers plenty of grunts, and with the highway kit option, you can effortlessly venture beyond the roadhouse with a pillion thanks to the sufficiently accommodating second seat. 4. Harley-Davidson Sportster Conduct a quick peek around motorcycle forums, and you will find arguments by riders who aren't convinced the Harley-Davidson Sportster is a genuine cruiser. The Sportster held the entry-level cruiser forts at Harley until the street models arrived. It is nothing like its famous big twin siblings in the Harley lineup, but is lighter, flashier, and faster. The Sportster has a long heritage, dating back to 1957. Despite its high popularity, it tends to be overlooked by some riders, who consider its riding position too uncomfortable for a cruiser. 3. Arch Motorcycle KRGT1 Arch Motorcycle is a relatively new boutique brand founded by Hollywood A-lister Keanu Reeves to produce make-to-order American performance cruisers. Many riders might overlook the brand for being a new entrant in the market and its high sticker prices. But, it is normal for boutique manufacturers to charge a premium. You won't be buying a boutique supercar like a Pagani Waria, a Burton Mantide, a Hispan Suiza Maguari HS1 GTC, or a Zagato ISO Revolta GTZ for anything below a million dollars. Beyond its steep $80,000 asking price, the Arch Motorcycle KR GT1 is probably one of the best motorcycles ever built. The KR GT1 is nothing like a random garage build, and it offers insane levels of handling and agility on top of its top craftsmanship. 2. The Triumph Bonneville America The cruiser is mostly an American taste of motorcycle, so stateside, European cruisers may be overlooked in favor of the Harley and Indian bikes. Japanese metric cruisers have it worse, with cruiser purists labeling them pretenders. In 2002, Triumph exploited its traditional connection with American motorcycling ahead and blended British and American charms in the Triumph America that featured cruiser styling alongside classic Triumph looks. The result was a cruiser bike worth riding and reminiscent of the Thunderbird and other modified Triumphs of the 60s and 70s. The Triumph Bonneville America was built for the road with a planted feeling and easy-to-ride demeanor and is a relatively rare cruiser. 1. BMW R18 The BMW R18 is a gorgeous cruiser and a nostalgic reminder of the good times of the past. It conjures images of the classic R5 or the 1965 R96S. The R18 is a classic cruiser in every sense, and it is a shame it has flopped in sales. Perhaps thanks to its high pricing and because it offers something different, which cruiser purists just don't want. Regardless, the BMW R18 is an amazing cruiser, and although it is too big, it is too good to hate. Riding the bike is pure pleasure, and it comes with the best of modern technology. Also, BMW Motorrad has built the R18 to be a personalization delight, just like the BMW R19. 3. 